Hey everyone, this is Peter from Talk Android. Today we're going to take a look at how to pair your new Wear OS smartwatch with your Android phone. So the first thing you need, obviously, is a Wear OS smartwatch, like so. Here we have the OnePlus Watch 2R, and you'll also need an Android smartphone. We are going to use the Honor Magic V3 foldable, nice big screen. You'll need to have access to the internet, and does the turn Bluetooth on. So the first thing you want to do is turn the watch on, like so. And there we go, Wear OS by Google. So as you can see, Wear OS has booted up on the smartwatch. We'll just scroll down and choose the language pack that's appropriate for us. And now the watch is telling us to download the OHealth app from the Google Play on your phone. Now, OHealth is OnePlus's app, uh, which is used to manage the OnePlus Watch 2R. If you have a Samsung watch, it will ask you to open up the Galaxy Wear app and so forth. Mobvoi have their own app, uh, which again, the TicWatch will ask you to download their specific app from the Play Store. The app that you need to download will be shown on the screen and it will follow a very similar procedure to what we'll see here on the OHealth app. We need to download OHealth, and luckily I've searched for it there. We'll install it. Just like that, the app is installed. And so we're going to open the app. It's going to ask us our dialing code. Again, for me, it is the United Kingdom. We'll agree to the statement. Yes, we'll agree for it to send us notifications, and finally we'll agree that. Okay, so here we've got the home screen of the, o, sorry, of the OHealth app. Now we want to add a device. So we'll click over here to devices, add device. We'll allow it to search for device and allow it again. Which smartwatch are we looking for? The 2R. Next, we've downloaded the app on the phone. We've opened, we've selected the add device and selected the relevant device to add to the watch. And there we are. And it's showing here. And click that. And again, we've got terms of service here. We'll agree. And now it's pairing with the watch. Is the code the same? 502462? Yep. And we'll allow it access to contacts and call history. Because that will just make things nice and easy. If we want to use our watch for calling. So now we go, we've got proper pairing. We've agreed to it on the watch as well. Pairing, pairing. Now we've got a funky little display on the watch. And on the app, we have more terms and conditions to agree to. We'll agree to that. Preferred wrist. So I'm right-handed. I prefer to wear my watch on my left wrist. Now, if you're an adult and pairing the watch up for yourself, you obviously want to choose standard mode. But if it's for your child or young teenager, you may want to choose parental control mode. We'll choose standard mode. Yes, we would like to sync phone communications and calendar events. Now, you'll be asked to allow OHealth app to access these things on your smartphone. We're going to click allow, and now it's preparing your smartphone. It's going to take a few seconds, like that. Now it's obtaining your Google account info, and it will probably require a fingerprint verification on the on the smartphone eventually. Here we go. Sign in. Yes. Don't look at that. And we've agreed for the Your Health app to access our Google account. Do we want to allow the Google Assistant? Yeah. Why not? That would be useful. Do we want to learn how to use the Google Assistant? Well, yes, we know how. Agree, activate. You can activate voice match as well to use Hey Google. And you can also talk to your assistant via the watch instead of using your smartphone, which is handy. Google Assistant is now set up. You can, if you, well, if you plan to use mobile payments on your smartwatch, you should, or you will be required to set up a 
lock screen password on your watch, whether it be numeric or a pattern. Um, for the moment, I don't need to, so I'm going to press skip. And it's just checking Google Play for selected apps on the watch and recommended. Which ones do we want out of this? Uh, not really any. So which apps? No, we don't need that, we don't need that, and we don't need that. And the rest we will. Okay, so those were the apps that it recommended. Here it's telling you about payments, where you can use your watch. And we want to turn on the location permission so that the weather and workouts functions on the watch work correctly. And again, set up. This is where we turn on the location. And permissions. We want location. Like so. Allow all the time. And voila, you have just set up your new Wear OS smartwatch. So yeah, this has been Peter from Talk Android. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and keep your eyes peeled for our next videos. Bye bye.